What's going on guys, Tyler here from ZubZettis, and today I'm going to be bringing to you guys how to make your videos 1440p. So as I go on my video right here guys, as you guys can set, tell, um, uh, my quality is instead of 1080p, 1440p. Now if you guys don't know what 1440p is, 1440p is original quality, what you recorded your video at, and it looks... Um, a lot better than 1080 but most people cannot watch videos in 1440p uh, I can because I have pretty good internet speed if I go to my twitch I have my internet speed in the description and um, and I, I'll, I'll show it to you guys real quick my internet speed I have a 5 up and a 60 down so I can watch videos uh, at, at 1080p constantly or 1440p all the time with a good with no buffer as you guys can tell right there so um uh, I'm going to be showing you guys is how to get it in Vegas Pro. Uh, I'm using the 12, 12, um, but you guys can use whatever version. doesn't really matter. Um, so I'm going to go file, and I'm going to um, open a new video. Uh, I already uploaded this, so I'm going to delete this one real quick. And uh, I'm going to upload my... I'm gonna upload this. I'm gonna do this one. So, um, if you guys get it uh, where it looks really, really bad at the beginning, uh, I usually have to go in here and I have to take off my view transform and put it to off, and then it looks normal. As you guys can tell, I don't know why it does that for me. But um, what you're gonna do is uh, to get it to do 1440p. I'm gonna cut this clip about right here, and I'm just gonna delete this. And so we just so we just have to work with this for now. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over to my project properties and I'm gonna go to template and I'm gonna click this and I'm gonna put it to 2K. 2K is um, 1440p and it's fine. And make sure your frame rate change that to whatever you want. I usually keep it at 23, but it doesn't really matter. I would put it up to 29.97 because YouTube shrinks it down to 30 FPS anyways, so it doesn't really matter. And then um, that's pretty much what I do. I usually click start off all projects with these settings and click apply and then click OK. And then you're probably going to get these black bars. If you do not remove these black bars, you're going to have huge black bars on your video. So what you're going to do is you're going to right click, go to properties, um, uncheck maintain aspect ratio and disable the resample. And that's going to take away those uh, aspect ratio and um, make your make your video look even better. So uh, remember, if you if you have an intro and stuff, uh, what you're going to do is I'm going to open up my intro real quick. I'm going to both of them. And if I put in my intro, um, I think I already did this. Hold on. Let me move these back. Just go like this. And, um, and what you're going to do is just make sure you always uncheck the maintain aspect ratio and always disable the resample on every single clip that you make. And um, so I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to highlight the video you don't have to do this but I do and I'm also gonna add fadeaways on both of these so let me do that real quick fade in and fade out and then I'm going to make sure it's selected on the whole clip go to file render as and you're gonna go into the um, video media v11 dot WMV and you're gonna go all the way down to the 8 megabits, oh wait, the 8 megabits HD 1080 30p, and you're gonna customize template. I already have one, so you're just gonna copy all these down. Um, I named the template 1440p HD YouTube. Uh, I put best quality on YouTube, and include the audio CBR, uh, format is Windows Media Audio 9.2. Um, attributes, uh, you can put this to whatever. I'm gonna change this to 320, because it's uh, even better than what I had it on. The video CBR, um, Windows Media 9. Custom, make sure it's uh, width 1920 and then the height is 1440. Pixel aspect ratio, make sure it's on uh, 1.333 HD 1080. Frame rate, keep it on 29.970. If you have an HDP VR in Elgato, even though it's 59.94, which is 60 frames per second, keep it on 29.970. It doesn't change the video at all. It just shrinks it down. It renders it down to what YouTube is because YouTube only uploads 30 frames per second. So if you render it out in 60, it wouldn't really affect it. Uh, sound, seconds per keyframe, keep it at 5. Override default composition buffer seconds 3. Just keep it and then make sure if your video smoothness is on 90, which it normally is, it's going to be on 90. Just turn it up to 100. Go to bitrate. Make sure internet slash LAN is the only one checked with 8, 8 m and it stands for megabytes. Index slash summary doesn't really matter. And then uh, video rendering quality, just all these and click OK. And then I'm going to delete this one. I'm gonna redo this one, and I'm actually gonna customize this template and click new. And then I'm gonna go in here. And I'm gonna delete this one. Click OK. 
Okay. And highlight this one. And then, oh, whoops. Um, cancel. Customize it. And I'm going to put it 1440p on YouTube. And then I'm just going to delete this one. And there we go. And now you just name it. Um, I'm going to do test. And you pretty much just click render. And it renders out. And it should be on your uh, desktop. So, you guys, uh, that's pretty much how to render and upload in 1440p to YouTube. I did it on this video and I did it on my last video as well. Um, so, right here. I also did it on this video, 1440p. So, uh, yeah, guys, I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If this tutorial helped you, can you guys please drop a like and, yeah, deuces, guys.